it's great to be back here, back home in Galway, and, and go out and, and listen to the concerns of people because down there in the market, we heard the concerns of, of business people. Version for people who are working taxes. Isn't it amazing when you have to say it's for people who are working, the taxes are unbearable? I mean, there's no, there's no incentive to even work now, right? That's the problem. When you ask people, can you name three names of the people that initiate 80% of the laws that now come here and they can't name one, they're in good company, neither can most journalists. So much of this policy is now coming from Brussels. Why is it even there? Who wants it? Do you want it? Did you ask for it? And can you exercise a vote to be able to make it? For it yeah. yeah, right, no, most people haven't. And people are really concerned. And it's interesting because a theme that we've been hearing everywhere this morning is democracy. People understand that democracy is under threat, that it's at risk, and they want to do something about it, and people are going to vote. I'm very disappointed the way things have gone. Yeah. You know, and definitely I would be all in favour yeah. of giving you our support. You're very good. You know, Thank I mean you. that. Well, I, 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 mean I, I, that. I and I won't let you down, and I will work very, I mean very that. hard for you. Mean, Thank you. Know, you. If, have you heard about Libertas and what yeah, we're doing? Yeah, no, 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 yeah, of course I have followed yeah. the Paris politics. And, and did you, I mean, were you under the impression that we were in any way Eurosceptic, or did you know that we were pro-European? No, I think pro-European, I mean, you cannot okay, be, you, you, you Point. You know this second referendum that they're running? Do you know how much that's going to cost? 25 million. Sorry, wouldn't it, to, to ask the same question again and get the same answer. It's amazing. We kind of fish our rivers, we kind of smoke, we kind of drink, we kind of do damn well. We're not allowed to do that. And, and you know how much of that stuff actually comes from Brussels? It's about 80% of these laws and regulations now no, are coming from Brussels. Them. We passed them. Well, you know, the thing is, the people who pass them, you don't even know who they are. And with this party, and, I, and with me as, as the leader, we will be able to stimulate that economic growth. We want to drop the barriers to entry, to drop job creation, and basically get the thing moving again, and uh, and make these fellows accountable. Uh, you know, we've got about 80% of our laws now coming from Brussels, and nobody knows who's making them or why they're being made. There's a lot of red tape coming out of there. We want the European Union to work. We want it to be successful. And, uh, and it's, we want to go out there and represent the people of Ireland. Very good. Very good. You know? Will you give me a vote? I will. I will. Thank you. Will. Thank you. I want their democratic voice heard, right? That, that's, that's the point. That, that's what you speak you know, about. That, that makes you a radical in Brussels. Did you know that? Oh, I mean, <laughs> it's worse than that. I'm not a radical. I'm a fascist. Oh, oh, oh really? <laughs> because you want democratic accountability. You're, you may be being asked to do things that are just unnecessary yeah, in terms of red tape and regulation. Yeah. Too much so th th there's pr and, and right. So they're making you a part-time bureaucrat. Yeah. You shouldn't be a part-time bureaucrat. Yeah. You need to do what you do yeah. best. And what I wanted to do is create an environment where you want to go and you want to open five more of these yeah. up in other marketplaces. Yeah. And, you're, and you're able to get access. Yeah. And you're able to do it and you're able to make a few quid. Yeah. You listen to the girl from Belgium, you listen to the guy from the Netherlands. This is an issue that is relevant to everybody, everybody in Europe, everybody gets it. And now for the first time in history, they have a European party, Libertas, where they can go out, they can vote for a candidate that make, will make sure that their voice is heard. We know they're worried about democracy, we know they're worried about jobs and business, we can provide the answers.